Well, former Prime Minister John Howard has accused the Northern Territory Government of making the same mistakes that led to the intervention more than 15 years ago. Matt Cunningham has the details. John Howard's government launched the Northern Territory Emergency Response in 2007 after reports of widespread child sex abuse, better known as the intervention. It saw the suspension of the Racial Discrimination Act, widespread alcohol bans and the army sent into remote Indigenous communities. In an exclusive interview with Sky News Investigations reporter Jonathan Lee, Mr Howard says history may be repeating itself. The failure of governments at different levels uh, look at the Northern Territory. Fifteen years ago when I was Prime Minister we had an intervention in the Northern Territory and that was because of the failure of the Territory Government. In the last few weeks, months, we've seen the same failure virtually repeat it mm. in the same part of Australia. Now that's a failure of government and having a voice won't stop that. The Northern Territory Government has been criticised for allowing alcohol to return to Aboriginal town camps when intervention era legislation expired last July. Those bans were reinstated in February after pressure from the Albanese Government. But the Chief Minister has rejected Mr Howard's claim. I think it's incredibly unfair that every time the Liberal Coalition Government are in trouble nationally and, and want to have a look at me moment, they raise the question of the Northern Territory. The intervention failed at the time, it disempowered Indigenous people and we're still dealing with those consequences a decade and a half later. Opposition leader Peter Dutton called for a royal commission into child sex abuse in the Northern Territory after visiting Alice Springs late last year. The opposition leader will tour Alice Springs again today with Senator Jacinta Price, a contender to be the opposition's new Indigenous Affairs spokeswoman.